Twinkle twinkle little star, how I wonder what you are, up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky, twinkle twinkle little star, how I wonder what you are. You know what, I think I'm going to watch this Coco Melon song for as long as I want. This is becoming one of my new favorite songs. Wait, Mom, why did you turn that off? I was in the middle of watching my new favorite song. Well, Joseph. First of all, we need to go to Target to get you school supplies. And second of all, I've told you a million times that you're too old to be watching Coco Melon. As a matter of fact, this is why you have to repeat the fifth grade this year. Mom, I don't want to do any back-to-school shopping. Because I don't want to go to school, anymore. I'd rather stay home and watch my favorite baby shows. Now Joseph, don't even get me started with this, okay? You're going to school because you need an education. And that's why we're going to get you school supplies at Target today. You can't make me go to school, because I refuse to repeat the fifth grade. I don't want to shop for school supplies. I just want to stay home and watch my favorite baby shows. There's more to life than watching baby shows all day. Besides, we've told you a million times that you need to move on from baby shows because you're 11 years old. Now, are you going to behave yourself at Target? I don't want school supplies. 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 Joseph, stop it. We're going to Target to get you school supplies for this coming school year, and that is final. Now, I want you to stop kicking and screaming like you're some three year old. Thank you. Now, Let's get into the car, and I want to be on your absolute best behavior at Target, do you understand? Yes, I understand. Good, now let's get going. All right, Joseph, let's take a look at see what supplies you need for the school year. You'll need a composition notebook, box of colored pencils, regular pencils, a binder so that you don't lose your schoolwork, a calculator, but we already have one. Hey, Mom. What is it, Joseph? I found some more school supplies in a box near this aisle. I will pick them up and be right back. Okay. But don't take too long. And it has to be what is required on the supply list. Alright, just what I need, a Coco Melon lunchbox. I'm going to get my mom to buy me the lunchbox. Joseph, it looks like you found yourself another lunchbox. And what is that lunchbox that you found? Mom, I would like you to get me this Coco Melon lunchbox. I've always wanted one, and now I can finally have one. Joseph, I'm not going to get that lunchbox for you. What do you mean you're not getting it for me? I said, I'm getting you that Coco Melon lunchbox. Number one, you already have a lunchbox, and number two, you're too old for Coco Melon. So I suggest you put that lunchbox back where you got it. But like I told you, I can't move on from my toddler and preschool days. Besides, I really want Coco Melon merchandise because of how popular the channel is. It's even airing on some cartoon channels. So pretty please, can you buy me a Coco Melon lunchbox? <laughs> 
Now wait just a minute Joseph, didn't you promise me you were going to be on your best behavior while shopping at Target? Don't even think about throwing a tantrum in the store. Now, I'm not getting you that silly Coco Melon lunchbox, so I want you to put it back where you found it like I told you, so we can buy you the school supplies. <coughs> buy me the Coco Melon lunchbox, 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 buy me the Coco Melon lunchbox. Is it that complicated? Joseph. Get up off the floor right now and stop acting like a three-year-old. I've told you millions of times that you're too old for Coco Melon, and that lunchbox is for preschoolers, not fifth graders. Now, if you keep acting like this, we may be thrown out of the store, and I might have to order the school supplies on Amazon and have them delivered the next day because the school year starts next Monday. My goodness, a kid who's 11 or 12 acting very childish? This is absolutely beyond me. How embarrassing. He should be ashamed of himself. Hey, I can't believe another shopper just called me childish. I'm not childish. I'm going to get Karen to sue her in court one of these days. Joseph, stop it. You're not getting that Coco Melon lunchbox, and that is final. Now. You're making me really angry right now, and you're embarrassing pretty much everyone who is shopping at Target. I want the Coco Melon lunchbox. 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 Right. That's it. Joseph Christopher Reed. We're going home right now before we get thrown out of the store, and you're going to be grounded. Now I'll have to either come back here tomorrow by myself while Grandma Thora watches over you, or I'm going to get you your school supplies on Amazon. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Put me down this instant. Go upstairs to your room now. <laughs> Joseph, stop it. Just stop it. Good morning class, my name is Mr. Parker, and I will be your teacher for 5th grade. And before we go over the syllabus, we're going to introduce ourselves, and what you did this past summer, beginning with the front row of desks. And after we introduce ourselves, I would like you to make name tags to put on your desks, and leave them there until I remember your names, which I think will be two or three weeks into the school year. Let's begin. My name is Jason. Here are the things I did this past summer. My family and I went to Disneyland in July, and then we visited my extended family in Colorado. I am Stefan. I attended a music camp over the summer, and the orchestra I was playing in received an award for Best Elementary School Ensemble in Go Animate City. My name is Joseph, and over the summer, I went to Great Wolf Lodge. But for most of the summer, I watched Coco Melon, Super Simple Songs, Baby Shark, Blues Galoose, Wonder Pets, and Paw Patrol. And those are my favorite shows in the whole wide world. Who in their mind would watch Coco Melon when they're in the fifth grade? That show is for babies. I know, right? My younger sister is only nine years old, starting fourth grade, and she doesn't watch Coco Melon anymore. In fact, when she was just three years old, Coco Melon was called ABC Kid TV. Instead, she now watches Cyber Chase, SpongeBob SquarePants, and shows that are more for her age.
Now Jason and Stefan, there's no need to make comments right now. We are not done introducing ourselves. We're sorry, Mr. Parker. Moving on to the next row of desks. My name is Amber. And me and my best friend went to Disneyland this summer. It was the best summer in my life. But now I am happy we're starting the fifth grade. My name is Anna. During the summer, my family and I went to Legoland last month. And I can't wait to go back there again soon. And my name is Brian. Over the summer I did many activities. First, my family and I went to Colorado to visit some extended family. Then we went to Great Wolf Lodge in my area because we haven't been able to do so in years. Alright, now that we've introduced ourselves, and all of you have written your names on your name tags, I will now go over the syllabus. First things first, what we are going to study this school year. 5th grade math. We will continue to learn how to do long multiplication, long division, solving word problems using fractions. For language arts, we will pick up where you left off in 4th grade with grammar, and we'll also study some literature. Social studies, we will be world geography, United States history from reconstruction to the present. Joseph, are you sleeping in class? Wait, what? I said, are you sleeping in class? Well, I get bored very easily during lectures, and I'm not looking forward to studying these topics. These are very boring and silly. Joseph, wake up. Hey, Mr. Parker, don't you see that I was trying to get some sleep? Well, you should have gone to bed at a decent time last night because you knew it was a school night. That being said, now I'm going to go over the classroom rules. Number 1. Absolutely no sleeping allowed in class. If I happen to catch any of you sleeping during the school day, for the first offense, you get a warning. Second time, you stay in for the morning recess. Third time, you will be staying in for recess for both the morning and the afternoon. Fourth offense, you will stay in for recess all week, and serve lunch detention. And the fifth time, you get sent to the office. <laughs> My goodness, Joseph, you're starting to remind me of two students who I taught last year. Have you been hanging out with them lately? Don't call me childish. I am not childish. I am 11 years old for crying out loud. I'm just upset that I have to learn all of these silly topics this school year, not to mention you won't let me sleep during your boring lectures. Joseph, you are acting childish. Now get up off the floor and return to your seat. If you keep this up, I may have to send you to the principal's office, even though it's only the first day of classes. Also, it's not nice to call my lectures silly, and it's against school policy to sleep in class. I want to take a nap. 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 Why can't I be in preschool? <laughs> Congratulations Joseph, you have just earned yourself a trip to the principal's office, even though it's the first day of school. Go there right now. I don't want to go to the principal's office. I don't want to go to the principal's office. I don't want to go to the principal's office. I don't want to go to the principal's office. I don't want to go to the principal's office. I don't want to go to the principal's office. Please, I promise to be a good kid. Mr. Parker, is there anything going on? Principal Jones, can you deal with Joseph, one of the students in my fifth grade class? I have to teach my class. What has he done? He was sleeping in my class, and I told him to wake up. And then he threw a childish temper tantrum on the floor, no different than when I taught high school, and Larry Loud and Arthur were throwing tantrums.
Joseph, you should know by now that it is against school policy to be sleeping in class, and you also don't talk back to your teacher, let alone throw a tantrum in the classroom. That is very childish of you to do that. But knowing this is only the first day of the school year, and your first day at the school, all I will do is give you a warning. If you keep up this behavior later in the year, then you may have to serve after school detention or something. <laughs> Don't call me childish, 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 don't call me childish. Joseph, stop it. You are acting childish. In fact, I'm going to send you to the quiet room for at least 45 minutes. And I'm also going to call your parents about your behavior. Now, Go to the quiet room, and I will check on you in 45 minutes. Joseph Christopher Reed, we can't believe that you misbehaved on the first day of school. You should be lucky you don't have to serve the tension or anything. But you were sent to the quiet room for an hour. This means you are grounded for another week. Now, go upstairs to your room, and think about what you did. We will discuss it with you in a half an hour. Wow. Alright class, first we are going to be doing some math. So I would like you to take out your math books and turn them to page 7. Joseph. Joseph. Joseph, wake up. What? What is it? You know you're not supposed to be sleeping in class. And second of all, do you have your math book with you? I asked everyone in the class to take out their books. First of all, I think math is really boring, unless it's songs by Coco Melon and super simple songs that are about math. Well, I was thinking of making up some fun word problems as we go along. So, I don't think that today's math lesson should be boring. Wow, I am so looking forward to solving more word problems. It's my favorite thing about this subject. I couldn't agree with you more. Jason, I really enjoy doing word problems. No, I don't want to do any word problems. I want to sing counting songs from Coco Melon instead. Oh my goodness, seriously? You still like Coco Melon and you're 10 years old? You do realize that show is for babies. Hey, don't say that about Coco Melon. It's not just a show for babies. It's actually for all ages, basically no different than Toy Story or Finding Nemo. Now, stop bothering me. Entitled Catherine. Joseph, you don't speak to Anna like that. Also, we are not doing Coco Melon counting songs. We're doing word problems for math. Joseph Christopher Reed, get up off the floor, get back in your seat, right now. And stop throwing a tantrum like a three-year-old. No, not unless you put on Coco Melon songs about counting instead of doing these silly word problems. Put on Coco Melon counting songs. 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 <laughs> Oh great. This is really embarrassing. 
What 10 or 11 year old kid throws a tantrum like a three year old just because he doesn't want to do word problems? Well, what do you expect? It's Joseph. Joseph, do you want to get sent to the quiet room so that you can calm down? No, not there again. Anything but the quiet room. I don't want to go there anymore. I'm sorry, but you have no choice. I'm going to have to send you to the quiet room so that you can calm down. I will check on you in about 30 to 45 minutes, and I will hand you today's assignments. Now, let's go to the quiet room. Hey, put me down this instant. I do not deserve to go to the silly room. Miss Stevenson, are you okay with watching over Joseph here in the quiet room until he calms down? I'm used to having Joseph in here, because pretty much every day, he is in here. But in case you don't know, the school has put in place a new system in which another student comes here to accompany whoever is sent here. Elizabeth, come on out. We have someone we'd like you to meet. Absolutely not. I don't even want to be here. In fact, I don't want to be in school right now. I want to go home and watch Coco Melon and Super Simple Songs on my iPad. Well, you're not going home until the school day ends. And you're going to be in here until you calm down, and then you're going back to my class. My goodness, a 10-year-old kid kicking and screaming like a toddler. How unusual. Well, I better get back to my class. But I will be back a little later to check on Joseph to see how he is doing. See you in a little while, Mr. Parker. All right, Elizabeth, will you be okay with Joseph for a few minutes? I have some paperwork I need to take care of. Okay, Miss Stevenson. I will be in the corner, and if you need anything, come let me know. So, Joseph, what is the matter today? I wanted my class to sing Coco Melon counting songs, instead of doing math problems that have nothing to do with Coco Melon. I'm sorry to hear that. But you got to understand that your teacher isn't going to put on Coco Melon because it isn't part of the school curriculum. However, I have some good news for you. You do? I also like Coco Melon. In fact, my family watch the show every day because I have a younger sister who is three years old, and she especially loves Coco Melon. Miss Stevenson, I'd like you to put on Coco Melon for me and Joseph. Sure, I can do that with no problem. It'll take a few minutes. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The doors on the bus go open and close, open and close, open and close. The doors on the bus go open and close, all through the town. The driver on the bus says move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver on the bus says move on back, all through the town. Hey Joseph, I'm glad to see that you have calmed down, so you can come back to class. Mr. Parker, my new friend and I haven't finished watching Coco Melon. We still have a few more songs. I think it's time you take a break from Coco Melon. Come with me back to class. Mr. Parker, I don't want to go back to class. I want to stay here and watch Coco Melon. Well, I'm going back to class. Joseph, we can watch Coco Melon another time. Sounds good, Elizabeth. Joseph, your time in the quiet room is up. You need to come back to class because you don't want to fall behind in today's lessons. <coughs> Joseph, don't throw another one of your tantrums, I want you to come back to class. No, I'm not coming back to class. I'm staying in the quiet room. Either you come back to class, or I am going to send you to the principal's office. <coughs> 
I want to stay in the quiet room. 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 Mr. Parker, I recommend that you leave Joseph here in the quiet room for a little longer because he is throwing another tantrum. I think that will be good for him. But Miss Stevenson, one don't want him to fall behind in his studies. I want him to move on to the sixth grade next year. I understand. But can you at least find a way where he is able to stay current on his assignments, tests, and so forth? I guess you're right. I'm going to give him a copy of today's lectures and this week's homework assignments. Good afternoon, and thank you for coming to the Apple Store today. How may I help you too? Yes, I am interested in getting the new iPad 11. It's supposed to have more features than previous models of the iPad. And I would like the 256GB version. I don't want to tell you this, but I need to do so. The iPad 11 is currently out of stock, and we don't know when we're going to receive them. Wait, what? You've got to be kidding me, aren't you? No, I'm not kidding. I'm telling you the truth. The iPad 11s are currently all sold out. However, I have some good news. Why don't you get the iPad mini? It performs just like the iPad 11. The only difference being the iPad mini is smaller. Absolutely. No! There is no way I am getting that silly iPad mini. You know very well the iPad mini is for babies, toddlers, and preschool kids, not for grown-ups. So I want you to get the iPad 11 back in stock right now. You need to calm down here. I'm not kidding you. We sold the last iPad 11 in stock about three days ago, which is why they're not in stock at the moment. And like I said, I want the iPad 11 256 gigabyte version, not that silly iPad mini. So I suggest you use GoAnimate Logic in order to get the iPad 11 back in stock. Otherwise, I am going to write a one-star review on Google because this store is a joke, not carrying the item I want. Oh my goodness, you're beginning to act like an entitled Karen right now. Either you can get the iPad mini, or you leave the store and get nothing today. Your choice. I beg your pardon, but what did you just call me right now? I said, you're acting like an entitled Karen right now. And I don't want to say this again, either you get something else like the iPad mini, or leave the store and get nothing for the day. Mom, I want an iPad mini, because I've been getting really good grades in college. Arthur, there's no way you're getting the iPad mini, you're too old for the iPad mini. All you'll ever do with it is watch Coco Melon, Super Simple Songs, Wonder Pets, Paw Patrol, Barney and friends, and all of these silly baby shows all day long. I beg your pardon, but the iPad mini is not exclusively for babies, and I'm not a baby. Yes it is for babies, Arthur Timothy Reed. I know you like to watch these baby shows with Joseph, and that's why you want the iPad mini. I'm not getting you the iPad mini, and that's final. I want an iPad mini, 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 I want an iPad mini. Please, I want you to get me an iPad mini. Arthur, stop crying on the floor like a toddler, you know you're too old for the iPad mini, because your mother said so. Either you two get another product, like the MacBook Pro, or get out of my silly childish store. Absolutely. No! I am not leaving the store until you get Arthur and me copies of Coco Melon on DVD, along with Super Simple Songs, Barney and Friends, Sesame Street, and Baby Shark. I demand you get me and Arthur those shows right now, or I will make you watch The Simpsons all day long. You know what? I'm going to get Coco Melon security and have you and Arthur thrown out of the store. What? <laughs> I want Coco Melane on DVD. 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 Coco Melon is silly. 
I want super simple songs on DVD. 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 Arthur, get out of my store, now. Arthur, Arthur, Arthur. Arthur, wake up. Hey Stephen, what are you doing? Sounds like you were having a bad dream. Well, I did have this strange dream that my mom and I went to the Apple store in Go Animate City. She wanted an iPad 11, but she was told they were out of stock. And then I told her that I wanted an iPad mini, but she told me I was too old for one because the iPad mini is only for babies. And we both threw childish tantrums in the store. That is a very weird dream. Say, would you like to get lunch in the student union building? I'm down. Let's go to Subway. Sounds fine with me. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on this farm he had a dog, E-I-E-I-O. With a woof woof here and a woof woof there, here a woof, there a woof, everywhere a woof woof Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. What is it? Can't you see I am trying to watch super simple songs? Alan, are you getting yourself ready for the day? Mom, hold on just a second, I'm not finished with this song. You need to get ready and have breakfast because the bus is going to arrive at 7.45, and you don't want to miss your first day of school. Wait, what? You've got to be kidding me. It can't be the first day of school, it's still summer. Alan, you knew that school is starting today. Also, you need to stop watching super simple songs because you're too old to watch that. You're a junior in high school, not three years old. So, I suggest you come downstairs and have breakfast. But mom, I am not looking forward to going back to school. I really like the summer vacation. Please, I want this to still be summer vacation. I don't want to go back to school. <laughs> Alan, don't get me started with another temper tantrum, you need to get yourself ready for school. Otherwise you're going to miss the bus. Okay then, I'm coming downstairs. I'm going to miss super simple songs and Coco Melon while I'm at school. This is not going to be any fun. I don't know what to do anymore. You know, I actually like riding buses. In fact, here is a song that I really want to sing. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The doors on the bus go open and close, open and close, open and close. The doors on the bus go open and close, all through the town. Who sings the wheels on the bus while they're still in high school? That's just unusual, not to mention, childish. I agree with you, Jenny. Whoever is singing it must be some sort of man-child. And I think he should be on the preschool bus, don't you think? Hey, don't call me childish. I'm not a baby. I like singing the wheels on the bus because that is one of my favorite songs in the whole wide world. Well, I think you're too old to sing that song. How old are you? I'm 16, and I really like that song. This is kind of embarrassing, still listening to baby songs. I don't listen to these songs anymore. In fact, I've moved on from my childhood, and I think you should do the same. My goodness, this is getting even more embarrassing. Wow. 
Stop acting like you're three years old already. I'm not three years old. 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 Don't call me a three year old. Good morning, class. My name is Miss Montgomery, and I will be your homeroom teacher for the 11th grade First Things First. We're going to introduce ourselves and saying what our favorite activities are. Starting with the front row. My name is Roger, and I enjoy going to the skate park with my friends on the weekends. I am Nancy, and I like to go to the movie theater on some weekends with my friends. My name is Alan, and I'm my favorite thing to do is watch Coco Melon, Super Simple Songs, Baby Shark, Wonder Pets, Blues Clues, Thomas and Friends. Are you kidding me? This kid still watches baby shows? This is junior year of high school. I agree with you. Don't you think he should have moved on from kids' shows? None of us are watching them anymore. Besides, I think Coco Melon is cringe. <laughs> Alan, what is the matter? I'm not too old to be watching Coco Melon or any of those shows. In fact, they're actually for all ages, and I know people my parents' age watching Coco Melon. Now's the time to not be arguing with me about this and this is only the first day of school. Now, let's move on. Roger and Nancy, don't be making fun of Alan, that's not very nice. <laughs> I'm not a baby. 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 Alan, get back in your seat right now and stop crying on the floor like you are some three year old. Hey, don't call me a three year old. I'm 16, not three. How could you call me a three year old? Well, you're acting like a toddler, and this is really embarrassing. Not only to yourself, you're also embarrassing the entire class. Now, get back in your seat so we can finish with the introductions. Alan, let's take you over to the quiet room so that you can calm down. I will check on you in about 30 minutes to see how you are doing. No, I don't want to go to the quiet room. I don't want to go to the quiet room. I don't want to go to the quiet room. I don't want to go to the quiet room. I don't want to go to the quiet room. Alan, you're going to the quiet room and that is final. Good, then I can watch my baby shows all I want. My classmates don't understand me. Miss Jones, will you be able to watch over Alan for the next 30 to 45 minutes? I have to finish going over some things with my class. Well, things have changed regarding the quiet room. Beginning this school year, there is now a student who will be watching over anyone who is sent here. Sarah, come on out. Alan, I would like you to meet Sarah, she will be with you in the quiet room. Sarah, this is Alan. Alan, it's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Sarah. Well, I better get back to teaching my class. Alan, I'll discuss later with you about whether or not you'll still be in my home or on class. and I will be in the back of the room, doing some paperwork. Alan or Sarah, if any of you need anything let me know. Alan, come sit on the couch.
So, Alan, what's wrong? What's going on? And you can be honest with me. Well, to tell you the truth, several kids on the bus were calling me a three-year-old because I was singing the wheels on the bus. And that really hurt my feelings, and that's why I'm sad this morning. Same thing happened to me in homeroom class when we were introducing ourselves and said what we enjoy doing, and I said my favorite thing to do is watch Coco Melon. Alan, don't listen to what those other kids say about you. We like different things. And to tell you something, I like watching kids' shows because I one of my cousins is three years old, and I'm interested in becoming a preschool teacher someday. Wow, that is interesting. And more importantly, I'm glad to meet someone who has the same interests as I do. And same here. So, I assume you have autism, is that right? Yes, I do. And that's what most students I've been around don't understand. I know people in my family who have it, so I will fully understand what's going on. Say, let's be friends. Agree. We should be friends. Mom, Dad, aren't you too happy that Kate has her very first school performance this year? Yes we are, DW. We can't wait to see her performance, especially with the way she has been practicing her parts over the last several days. And I forgot what time the show starts, is it 6.30? It actually begins at 7. It's 5.30 right now, and that's why he had dinner earlier than usual. Kate, you look amazing right now. And your father and I are going to be very proud of you tonight. Thank you so much, Mom and Dad. So, what time do you have to be at the school? I have to be there at 6.30 for roll call. Sounds good. Wait for me for just a few minutes, I have to get Joseph downstairs. Karen, Arthur, intermission I think is a 7.45, so you two can meet me in the school parking lot, and from there we go to Wonder Pets Live. I can't wait to go. So I'll see you two then. Take care. Joseph, can you come downstairs? We have to go to Kate's school play in about an hour. Not now, don't you see I'm trying to watch Wonder Pets? It's important that you attend Kate's school performance. She will not be happy with you if you don't go. So I suggest you come downstairs so we don't arrive late. But mom, I don't want to go to Kate's silly school performance. I want to keep watching Wonder Pets. Joseph, don't even think about getting me started with this childish behavior. You're going with us to Kate's school performance, and that is final. Number one, and number two, you're too old to be watching Wonder Pets. <laughs> I don't want to go to Kate's school performance. I don't want to go to Kate's school performance. I don't want to go to Kate's school performance. I don't want to go to Kate's school performance. I don't want to go to Kate's school performance. I want to stay home and watch Wonder Pets. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Put me down this instant. Stop it. Just stop it. Good thing that Joseph is downstairs finally. Now, Joseph, I have to tell you this. You must be on your absolute best behavior at the school performance, otherwise you will be grounded. Do you understand? Yes, I understand, Mom and Dad. Good. Now, let's get ready because we need to leave in about 45 minutes. Hey mom and dad, can I go use the restroom really quick? I promise to be back in no more than 5 minutes. Not right now Joseph. The show is going to start any minute now. But you can go during intermission. Oh, okay. Good evening, and may I have your attention please? I would like to thank you for being able to attend the very first performance, Go Animate City High School Drama Club. 
Tonight, we will be showing the world premiere of a journey into the Go anime world. Please turn off your cell phones and sit back and enjoy the show. Hey mom and dad, now can I please use the restroom? Yes you may, Joseph. But be back in your seat in no more than 20 minutes. Joseph, I am so glad you were able to meet us on time. Now, let's head on over to the Civic Auditorium, which is just three blocks away. And we're going to have a really good time at Wonder Pets Live. You're going to really like this show. I know. This is going to be more fun than my sister's school performance. Then why didn't you say so? Let's head on over to the auditorium. It looks like someone in the backyard needs our help. Are you serious? Yes, I am serious. Let's call this animal on the phone. Oh, no. There is no battery left on my iPhone, and my charger isn't working anymore. Well then, we'll have to use a tin cup. The animal who needs our help is just in the backyard. Jane, do you have any idea where Joseph could be? It's been almost 20 minutes, and he hasn't come back from the restroom. So I have no idea where he can be. Hey, Mom and Dad. I need to tell you this. Just a few hours ago, I overheard Joseph having a Zoom meeting with Karen and Arthur, and they were talking about going to Wonder Pets Live, which is at the Civic Auditorium. So one of you can go over there and deal with him. Oh my goodness, thank you for telling me DW. You and your father can stay here and watch the rest of Kate's show. I'm going over to the Civic Auditorium, Joseph is going to be so grounded for this. Well, I managed to find a large Android phone that actually works. Where did you find one? Actually, I made it myself using good old Go Animate logic. Now, we can call the animal in the backyard. Joseph Christopher Reed 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 Get over here right now You are in big trouble Joseph why did you leave Kate's school performance to attend a Wonder Pets live concert I think Kate is not very happy with you I most certainly am not happy right now. Well, it's because Karen and Arthur invited me to this show, and I really wanted to go to Wonder Pets Live instead of Kate's school performance. Number 1, you were supposed to be back in your seat before intermission ended, because Kate is performing in the second half of the show. Number 2, you are not to hang out with Arthur and Karen because they are not a good influence on you. And number 3, you are too old to be watching Wonder Pets. Now, because I think you're going to throw a temper tantrum like you always do, we're going to have to wait in the car because we don't want to disrupt the school performance. I don't want to go home. 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 I want to stay at the Wonder Pets concert. Joseph, I'm not playing games with you. I'm serious. Get up off the floor right now, and let's go back to the high school and wait in the car before the show ends. Hey, put me down this instant I don't deserve to be treated like this. Stop it. Just stop it. Oh, 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 oh. Joseph, 
We are so angry with you right now. We cannot believe you ditched your sister's school performance to attend a live performance of Wonder Pets. For this, you will be grounded for an additional two months. This means no Coco Melon, no super simple songs, no Wonder Pets, no Barney and Friends, and certainly no hanging out with troublemakers. Now go upstairs to your room now. Wah! You know why I have been in such a bad mood this past couple of years? Now I realize that I did a lot of bad things in the past, particularly in 2021. There are many things I did wrong that year. And in 2020. I also did a lot of things wrong. Now, I am going to get my laptop so I can do a live stream on both Facebook and YouTube, explaining to everyone all of the bad things that I did in the past. And before I start the video, this is the first time I have appeared in Met the Go Animators videos since I moved out of my family's house in 2021. Okay, before I start this live stream, I will have to log into my Facebook and YouTube accounts. Okay, now I will begin recording this live stream. Good afternoon, everyone on Facebook and YouTube. This is Toll speaking, and I wanted to do this live stream because I have to admit all of the bad things I have done in the past, especially in the year 2021. Not just that year, but also 2020. First, I would like to admit that I was hired as a substitute teacher at Go Animate City High School because some troublemaker was the principal. I forgot who it was because it was around three years ago. I made up silly rules and grounded anyone who didn't follow my new rules. Actually, I was claiming they got the wrong answers to my questions, when in fact, they actually got them right. And I would send them to the principal's office, basically for nothing. Next bad thing I did was in early 2021, and that was when the schools were still in remote learning, if not on a hybrid model. I became a substitute teacher for one class at Go Animate City High School, and it was still in remote learning. I did the same thing I did when I was hired as a teacher. Grounded everyone for getting the wrong answers and breaking my silly rules. I then pushed the Zoom boxes shortly after I made everyone leave the Zoom meeting. Then, I had to watch Nora's piano recital the next month and people had to watch that on Zoom because at the time, large gatherings in GoAnimate City were not permitted. I ruined her piano recital by saying that the song she played was the worst song ever written, and I grounded Nora for playing that song, all because I was annoyed with having to hear her practice it every single day, and I thought it was much more annoying than Coco Melon. Looks like there are people coming on to the chat. Let's read what they have to say. Wow, people are actually happy with me changing for the better. Guess that means I will no longer be a troublemaker, ever again. And Nora, I do sincerely apologize for ruining your piano recital and grounding you online shortly after thereafter. I didn't know my family is now living in Denver. I thought they were still here in GoAnimate City. Can't wait to see a new place then because I've never been to Denver before. Well then, I will be in Denver in a few days from today. I can't wait to be back with my family.
and I can't wait to move out of this house, because other troublemakers are living here. And I no longer associate myself with the League of Troublemakers. This has got to be the best day in my entire life. Finally moving on from my troublemaking days, because I got into so much trouble for all of the things I did in the past. I'll be coming in a week from today, Nora. All right, I have everything packed, suitcase, and basically everything. Now, I will head on over to the airport to catch my flight to Denver. Toll, are you going on vacation? I'm actually moving to Denver to be back with my family, because they have missed me over the last couple years. Wow. Come on, don't throw a tantrum, I don't have time for this. I have to go to the airport, like right now. I don't want Toll to move out. 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 Please, Toll, come back. We don't want you moving to Denver because you'll get grounded on a daily basis again. Wah. Oh well, what else is there to do now that Toll has just moved out? I don't know. Watch Coco Melon or Super Simple Songs. You know, that might be a good idea, actually. <laughs> What is it, Mom? Joseph, it's time to get up. You need to get ready for school. Okay, Mom, I'm coming downstairs. I'm so proud of you for getting upright when I ask you to rather than throw one of your temper tantrums. Good job. You're making progress. Pencils, check. Binder, check. Notebooks, check. Textbooks, check. Lunch, check. Homework. Check. Looks like I'm all set to go, and the bus is going to be here in the next 5 to 10 minutes, so I better get going before I miss the bus. You know what I'm thinking? I'm going to Lakewood Elementary School instead of the special school, and I'm going to sneak into the 6th grade, because that is actually where I belong. I don't belong in the 5th grade. Oh, and by the way, here comes the bus. Yes, Lakewood Elementary, here I am, time to go to the 6th grade. Yes, I am now in the 6th grade. This is where I need to be, not repeating the 5th grade. Joseph, what are you doing in this class? You're not supposed to be here. Actually, I am supposed to be here. What happened was I got transferred back here to Lakewood Elementary, and I got promoted to the 6th grade. It was a mistake on Miss Stillwater's part to hold me back a grade this year. I actually don't believe you at all, Joseph. Remember you were throwing tantrums in class last school year. And now you think you can be in the sixth grade? Here comes the teacher. Good morning, class. I hope you all remember to have looked over Unit 1, Chapter 2 last night. 
If so, please take out your textbooks. Excuse me, kid, who are you, and what are you doing in my class? Well, teacher, to tell you the truth, there was actually a mistake on the school administration's part. I got mistakenly held back to fifth grade, and that's why they sent me here. And moving me to the special school also was a mistake on their part. So, I am happy to be in the sixth grade instead of having to repeat the fifth grade. First of all, what's your name, kid? Joseph Reed. Well, Joseph, you weren't enrolled here as a student this year, I'm afraid. So you're going to have to leave my class, I can have the principal deal with you. No, I am not leaving this class, I actually belong here. And I am a sixth grader. Joseph, don't waste my time, I need to teach this class, so I suggest you go to the principal's office. I don't want to go back to fifth grade. I don't want to go back to fifth grade. I don't want to go back to fifth grade. I don't want to go back to fifth grade. I don't want to go back to fifth grade. I don't want to go back to fifth grade. I belong in the sixth grade, and I belong at Lakewood Elementary School. Joseph, get up off the floor right now and go to the principal's office. You are acting like a three year old. No wonder you're having to repeat the fifth grade this year. Don't send me to the principal's office. 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 And don't call me a three year old. I'm 11 years old. That's it, I have no choice but to take you to the principal's office myself and take your backpack with you. Class, I will be right back. Miss Meadows, I see you brought Joseph to my office. What is he doing here at Lakewood Elementary when he is supposed to be at the special school? Well, Joseph thought he was promoted to the sixth grade and thought he had a reason to be in my class. Can you deal with him? I have to go back to my classroom. Joseph, you're not supposed to be at Lakewood Elementary School because you're no longer a student here, let alone sneak into Miss Meadows' sixth grade class. Your academic performance and your behavior last year is why you're not only repeating the fifth grade this year, but you were transferred to the special school. Now, I'm going to inform this to the superintendent, and he will take you to the special school. I will also be calling your parents about what you did. Now wait near the main entrance so that the superintendent can pick you up. This is just not fair. Why can't I be in the sixth grade for once? I do not deserve to repeat the fifth grade. Miss Stillwater was such an entitled Catherine who did not give me any credit for my work that I did last school year. And why can't I be at Lakewood Elementary School? I don't deserve to be at the silly special school, having Mr. Parker as my teacher for fifth grade. This is not how things are supposed to be. Joseph Christopher Red, we cannot believe that you were sneaking into a sixth grade class at Lakewood Elementary School when you're not supposed to be at that school, not to mention you're repeating the fifth grade. For this, you will be grounded until the end of this month. This means no watching Coco Melon, no super simple songs, no Barney, no Thomas and Friends, no baby shows of any kind because you're 11 years old, and you can only leave the house to go to school and go for a walk around the neighborhood. Now go upstairs to your room, and we will bring you your dinner when it's ready. Also, you will not be getting dessert after dinner.
And so, Goldilocks ran into the woods, and the three little bears never saw her again. The End Okay kids, now we're going to sing some songs. Fire it, we will sing, down by the bay. Down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say. Did you ever see a cat with a baseball hat? Down by the bay. Down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say. Did you ever see a dog dancing on a log down by the bay? Down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say. Did you ever see a star playing a guitar down by the bay? Wait a minute, was that a dream I was having? Or am I now going to preschool? Either way, this is one of my favorite songs of all time. And I enjoy singing it every single day. Now that I'm thinking about it, I wish that I got held back all the way to preschool instead of having to repeat the fifth grade all. Because preschool is going to be a lot more fun than fifth grade. I get to eat popcorn during the day, take naps for 45 minutes, and even sing baby songs. So, I wonder what to do at this point. Wait a minute, I just figured something out. I'm going to go downstairs into the living room, and play baby songs at maximum volume, and that will get my friends to come over to the house, because I can then turn the living room into a big kid preschool where we can sing baby songs all day long, and even watch Coco Melon for a few hours while eating popcorn. This is going to be the best thing that I have ever done in my entire life. You know what song I'm going to play this early in the morning? I think I will play either The Wheels on the Bus, or Down by the Bay. Alright, now I am going to turn on the TV, and I will be singing along to my favorite Coco Melon songs. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The doors on the bus go open and close, open and close, open and close. The doors on the bus go open and close, all through the town. The driver on the bus says move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver on the bus says move on back, all through the town. Wait, mom and dad, turn the TV back on. I'm not finished listening to this song. That's the best song ever. Joseph Christopher Reed, what did we tell you about playing music at 3 in the morning? But I really wanted to play the wheels on the bus so that my friends Joey and Tom would come over, and we could turn the living room into a big kid preschool. Joseph, that's no reason that you should be coming downstairs in the middle of the night and putting on music at such a high volume. You woke up everyone in this house. And besides, we've told you millions of times already that you are too old to be listening to preschool songs and watching Coco Melon. So we suggest you go back upstairs to your room, and go back to bed. We're tired. I don't want to go back to bed. I want you to turn the TV back on so I can finish listening to Coco Melon. Turn the TV back on, 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 turn the TV back on. I can't go back to bed without listening to Coco Melon. Joseph, get up off the floor right now. And we're not turning the TV back on because it is 3 in the morning and people are trying to sleep. No, I'm not going back upstairs until you turn Coco Melon back on. Otherwise I am going to get Karen to sue both of you in court one of these days. Joseph, you can't sue us in court. Besides, the judge said he is never going to hold any more cases if Karen is involved. So, we want you to stop this childish nonsense, and go back to bed. We need to get some sleep. 
I want to keep listening to Coco Melon. 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 That's it. Joseph Christopher Reed. I have no choice but to carry you back upstairs to your room. And you're grounded for three weeks. Hey, put me down this instant I'm not done listening to my favorite songs. Stop it. Just stop it. Alright Dave, our YouTube channel has been doing very well over the past few months, and our most recent uploads have gotten more views than ever before. Now, let's check to see how many subscribers we have. I would not be surprised if the channel reached 100,000 subs, because I am thinking about getting a silver play button. I would like us to get the silver play button, but the last time I checked how many subscribers we had, which was 2 or 3 weeks ago, it was at 90,000. We need to get to 100,000. Alright then, let's see how the channel is doing, and then we will find out how many subscribers we have. But like I just said, I think we will reach 100,000 because of how fast the channel is growing. Oh my goodness, Dave, you were right all this time. We do have a hundred thousand subscribers. And do you know what that means? We are now eligible to get the silver plate button. That's right. However, I must tell you something. You need to apply for a silver play button, because you don't automatically get one just because the channel has one hundred thousand subscribers. Oh. You're right. Let me apply to get the silver play button, and I have a feeling the application is going to be approved because our content is 100% original, and we have not received any copyright or community guideline strikes on our channel. Hey mom and dad, what are you doing? Emma and I have overheard part of your conversation. Brian and Emma, you may not believe this, but our YouTube channel has reached 100,000 subscribers, and we only created the channel just a few months ago. Are you serious? Yes, we are. In fact, we're going to be getting a silver play button really soon. Congratulations both of you. I knew you created very good content, and Emma and I liked watching those videos. I agree with everything Brian just said. In fact, I enjoy your channel more than Coco Melon, or most kids' channels. What thank you, Brian and Emma. Your mother and I appreciate what you just said. No problem. Well, Brian and I are going to do some homework. But we'll see you two when dinner is ready. And keep up the good work with that channel. I'll see the two of you later. Good luck on your assignments. Anyways, let's now see if our channel is eligible for the silver play button. Wow, that is good news. I am going to get the silver play button sent here to the house. And this is going to be a really good day for us. I couldn't agree more, Dave. And we're going to keep going to keep growing this YouTube channel. I wonder how long it's going to take before we get the silver play button. I think it's going to be around a few days, a week at most, assuming there are no delays in the delivery. The silver play button should arrive at any minute. The package is on the delivery truck. I can't wait for this moment. It was good. The package just arrived at the house. Time to pick it up, and I will finally have my silver play button from YouTube. This is going to be one of the best days in my life. Alright, here is the package that is waiting for me. I can't wait to finally have my silver play button.
Now, I am going to open this package. I think this is the silver plate button. Yes, it's the silver plate button. At long last. Hey Catherine, can you come into the living room for just a second? At long last, we now have a silver play button. All because our channel has reached 100,000 subscribers. Well, I was thinking we should take the family to dinner this Friday to celebrate reaching this milestone. Where were you thinking of going? Let's go to Dave and Buster's for dinner this Friday, once the kids get home from school. I really, I really like, like that, that idea. idea. Did the childish crybaby just reach 100,000 subscribers on his silly YouTube channel? I cannot believe how popular his channel is. And you know what, I am going to teach him a lesson that he is too old to be uploading nursery rhymes to YouTube. That is for babies only, and Dave is 36 years old. Mm -hmm.